Research scientists of CSIR's Oil Palm Research Institute, OPRE, at Kusi near Kade in the eastern region, show how seed nuts are planted before they germinate into nurseries. In their different forms, the most significant treatments of nurseries are either mulching with sawdust, wood shavings, rice husks, and palm kernel shells, or watering the plant from mechanized irrigation. It takes several months for this cash crop to mature into readiness of bearing fruit. Kusi is a vast plantation of the crop, which adds to national stock and fulfilled studies by OPRI. There are three types of instruments for harvesting palm fruits, depending on the height of the tree. The pest management unit of OPRI identifies beetles, weevils, birds, and larvae as most destructive to oil palm. Researchers, however, allow red ants, some rodents and insects and other paratoids on plants because they are biological predators of pests, the most dangerous of them being the smallest in size. Is the um, oil palm leaf miner, the C. lamensis. That is the most devastating pest of oil palm in West Africa. And that is it, very small, but very dangerous. It can cause about 90% defoliation of the oil palm, which can lead to about 50% reduction in yield within two years of attack. Insect pollinators are not to be hunted down. They assist in flowering and rapid multiplication of oil palms. Malaysia is reported to scavenge for the best insect pollinators of oil palm in Africa. Malaysia is a world leader in oil palm production because it has zero deficit in rainfall. Artificial pollination exacts meticulous approach. The mill in fluorescence or bunch of flour is sealed off in an enclosure, point of the ceiling sterilized, and the yet to bud mill flour sprayed with formalin to kill any external pollen before the actual flower offers one. When it grows, the pollen on the male flower is collected and applied on the female in fluorescence. Normally, after 10 days, from 10 days going, then when it is shedding the pollen, that is where you come to the field and harvest it by cutting below the point where you have tied. And then the whole thing is sent to the lab where it is stretched by beating to get the pollen released. And then the processes that we described are followed. In the case of the female flower, the bagging or isolation process is the same except that when the flower is in antesis you punch a hole through the transparent part and then you introduce the spout and then you blow the pollen onto the flower artificial pollination is driven on peppers there are different kinds of palm fruits which may be crossed to hybrid their properties the elaborate process for extracting oil involves dismembering the fruit case and weighing each of them to find the weight ratio between the fruit bunch and actual oil in it. You can use this method to estimate the amount of oil lodged in a given plantation before harvest. We want to know the proportion of stock that is making up the total weight of the bunch. Because if you have a bunch with a very big stock, that takes a lot of the weight, and then the fruit itself uh, constitutes a very small proportion, then it's not a very good uh, material. Because virtually this one doesn't give you much. It's, doesn't, it's the oil that we are interested in. Oil palm tree is said to be robust, but also thrives on fertilizer and rainfall. Owing to longer gestation period of the oil palm tree, farmers are advised to do mixed farming and mixed cropping. Here, droppings of livestock serves as manure and in other scenarios, crops introduced in oil palm plantation fields are spaced out to avoid competition for nutrients. The most important factor that we have to consider is size selection. In order to attain a maximum yield, the size selection 
is very, very important. In the OPI, for that matter, Oil Palm Research Institute, we have undertaken a lot of trials. And when, in terms of the factors to consider, rainfall is a very important factor. And in terms of rainfall, it's not the quantum or amount of rainfall that matters so much, but its distribution has to be taken into consideration. So by using daily rainfall, you calculate what you call water deficit. Water deficit. And uh, water deficit values of about 150 millimeters is known to be the optimum oil palm production area in the country. That's the best area within the country where oil palm can be cultivated. And examples of these areas in Ghana are Kusi. And the water deficit keeps on increasing because of climate change. It keeps on increasing. Experts say oil palm exports lend itself to rejection on the international market if it is not harvested on time. Lack of this knowledge has led to accumulation of fatty acids in oil palm fruit, marked for rejection if presence of the element is 2.5% or more. Meanwhile, among the challenges facing operations on oil palm fields is the threat of dangerous reptiles such as snakes. Thus, workers make a case for protective gears. Napoleon Atukitu reporting.